Peterbot just did the impossible in Fortnite. He dropped 39 kills in a solo game and absolutely shattered the world record for most kills from a solo player. Let's break down this entire game and see how the best player in chapter five absolutely destroys this lobby. So we see him land in Snooty because he wants the mythic shotgun from Peter Griffin. And he also wants the medallion, of course. He's going to need a lot of these medallions because you got to remember there is no siphon. That's how he's going to stay alive and key all of these players. So he starts off with some very easy peace control. Uh, he's taking out these players in the early game. There's very little mats or heals on them. He already has two eliminations and now he has the mythic shotgun. So it's about to get real dangerous. So this guy jumps up above him. He's just trying to stay above and you'll notice that he's using a minimum amount of mats. And right here, uh, he's a bit of a pickle. So this guy's going to jump in and Peter Bot is going to absolutely flick onto him. When Peter Bot first came onto the scene, a lot of people thought he was cheating because of how good his aim was. Honestly, to this day, people still think he's cheating, but he has not been banned. So clearly he's just super cracked. He's on the high ground. He's low on mats, but he's going to do a good job just taking these weird angle shots and just using what little mats he has left to cone this guy in the head hits him for 100 pulls out the smg easy cleanup already four eliminations and there's 68 people alive now you might be wondering how does he drop nearly 40 kills how does he manage to do that well this is the solo victory cup the only way you can earn money in this cup is if you win so a lot of the players are going to be good but they're going to be playing safe and they only get three games in the tournament so they're going to be playing scared on the other hand, Peter Bot is not playing scared. He is running all these kids down like he is a psychopath. We saw Reet drop a 50 bomb in a solo squad uh, Unreal Lobby, and he was playing very, very calculated. And there was times where he had to play smart and play defensive. Peter Bot does not do that. The entire time, he is just clipping kids like this, playing extremely aggressive and not afraid of dying. And the big part of that is with Chapter 5, he has these medallions now, so... Even if he takes some damage, he can keep playing aggressive while passively healing. He's going to drop down to this guy's box, put a cone, use that cone to get back out. And look, already the medallion is doing work and, and keeping him healthy. He doesn't even have to pop a shield. He can focus on just reloading his, his shotgun. And by the time he gets back into the fight, he's already at 40 shield. This would not be possible in a previous chapter. So we might see some crazy games coming out of these top tier pros as chapter five progresses. He's going to try to... Uh, he's gonna, he puts the cone in that guy's box. This guy is running for his life. There's some peace control. He's on the high ground right now. He's going to break down. Waiting for that Waiting for that fast edit. Already back up to 100 health, 100 shield. There it is. That prediction right there. He had a feeling that guy was going to make that edit. And he called it right. Now he's using the grappler to push this guy. He already has 8 eliminations. This guy has the tack SMG. Full box just like that. 50 and another pump. He's going to really make these mythic uh, weapons go to work. He has the mythic AR and the mythic shotgun right now. Nine eliminations, 51 people left. And right now, everyone's pretty much going to be boxed up waiting for the end game because they want to get that win for the free $100. There we go. Just jumps right into that guy's box. No fear. Peter Bot is honestly one of the most feared players amongst pro players. I mean, we saw him go against Re in the last... We saw him go against Ree in the last Victory Cup of OG Fortnite, and he absolutely destroyed him. So this guy does take out pro players, and, and people do not like going against him because of how aggressive and how accurate he is. Look at that beam right there. All right, so he, he just did a slide move to get this height. That was actually kind of crazy. He used the momentum from his grapple and just slid up to height. Hits this guy for 100. Jumps right into his box. Perfect timing on that jump with the ramp. Now he's in a full box, but he's not going to panic. The other guy is weak, so he's going to get out. Waiting for this guy to make an edit. Reloading his AR. This other dude's dropping down. Peter Bot's in his box just like that. Just takes him out. That was a really good movement and really good pressure from him. Finds this guy boxed up. And dude, these kids are scared, bro. Even though they're fighting back, they are scared. They don't have many games. They want to get the win. Some of them might be stacked on loot. And a lot of them are going to be stacked on loot, which is going to allow Peter Bot to just keep refreshing his mats and heals and constantly take out the lobby. 15 of limbs. 44 people left. He still gets 25 more eliminations. This is crazy. All right. Takes the wall right there. Full box that guy. That guy gets out. He's going to go over the top. Bro, I, he's, he's playing so aggressive. Any one of these guys can make an edit and pump him, but they're not doing that because they're just not trying to take that fight right now. 
So this guy, this guy. Oh, there we go. Prediction on the edit. And we're going to see him do that a lot in this video where he just has his shotgun out and waits for the opponent to make an edit. When with that mythic pump shotgun, one good hit and he's pretty much won the fight. He just took some damage right there. But look at the medallions. He already has a, a few medallions. And I think there's only two more. So he might have three on him right now. Uh, that's just going to keep him alive the whole time. He's going to jump into this guy's box. Doesn't get the, the phase. But does put that wall behind that guy. Now this guy's pretty much... Has to drop into the river because he had a wall, a ramp, and another wall over him. Still stuck in the river. He's going to pickaxe him. No way, dude. All right. So he sees this guy up on the hill. He's going to edit open. We see some, you know, up until now, he hasn't had to build extremely fast, but he can build extremely fast. He is a creative warrior through and through, but he's also a pro player who can make smart plays and smart edits. So this guy comes out. He's trying to scare him off. Doesn't realize he's going against Peter Bot. Holds his shock and out. He's going to see if he can try to trap this guy from underneath. And he noticed that that guy made a quick edit. So he's probably going to be ready for this guy to try to edit pump him. There's a quick mongrel edit. Takes the wall. That dude's dropping. And dude, like he, these guys are scared because they don't have many games. 152. Takes the wall. He's going to try to predict where this guy's going. All right. As his shocking out, he's predicting if the, if the guy's going to make a quick edit. Doesn't make the quick edit. Full box and the pump. And since these guys don't have medallions, they are not healing back up. As soon as he hits them, man, they're, they're struggling to get the pop. They're struggling to get the shield off. They're struggling to get a med kit off because he's just putting so much pressure. And look, this is about to be his 20th elimination, guys, which would be ridiculous in a solo tournament finals. But he's going to go and drop another 20 elims, which is just absolutely insane. There's a quick one pump right there on that person. 35 people left, 22 kills. Remember, he finishes with 39. And actually, technically, he actually could have finished with 40. Apparently, he should have had 40, but he kind of got robbed at the end. So we're going to see how that actually played out. These guys are all boxed in. He's the only person right now running people over. And I'm wondering if there's any other pro players in this game, because a lot of them do play in the Victory Cups. And he might be taking them out right now as we speak. So this guy's dropping down. Quick one pump, quick refresh. And he's just going to keep running at people. He knows at this point he has the chance to set the world record. Uh, the world record for a solo Victory Cup finals was 37 eliminations. Um, and, of course, we know that he's going to break it right here, right now. 25 kills. The circle's getting small. There's still two other people with medallions. So we know that he has three medallions. He's probably trying to find all five medallions. He's going to do that. Double edit. That dude just walks right into it. That was a really smart prediction to get that free pump on that guy. And I think this guy has a medallion. He does. He has that passive heals. So now Peter Bot, if he takes him out, is going to have four medallions. Four medallions. There's only, I think, one other medallion left. Oh, this guy. This guy's trying to fight back. 65 pump from Peter. Oh, oh, that kill just got stolen from him. That was definitely his, bro. That could have been the difference between 39 and 40. Honestly, man, I feel like he has potential to eventually drop a 40. With the way he's playing in this game, if he if he plays every single Victory Cup this chapter and plays like this, he could potentially drop a 40 bomb. There's 27 eliminations and 28 people left. He has, he has pretty much the same amount of kills as there are people left. This is crazy. All right. This guy's not paying attention. That dude was completely lost. He didn't even realize that he was taking his roof. I'm telling you, man, these guys are scared. He's going to go for this guy's wall. Free wall take. One pump. And, and you see the accuracy right here. You see the accuracy from Peter Bach showing up big. That was a crazy play. And now he's kind of getting lobby focused. But look at the medallions do work. All he has to do is just stay alive for a little bit. He's going to prioritize popping the med kit over the shield. Because he knows that his shield is just naturally going to go up. But his health will not go up until he, until he pops the med kit. And now look. The circle is getting really, really small. So it's going to be even harder to get into these fights without getting third partied. But somehow he's just finding these little pockets of players that are just, you know, boxed up, low on health, scared, not paying attention. Look, this guy did, did a slow edit out of there. I feel like he could have caught him if he was just a little bit quicker on, on being aggressive. But I think now at this point, even Peter Bot might be getting a little bit nervous because he knows how close he is to the world record. He only needs seven more to tie the world record, eight more to break it. And he still wants to win the game because, remember, the only way you can earn money in this tournament is to win. It is only $100. Uh, Peter Bot has a lot earned, but, you know, $100 is $100, man. Sometimes you just got to go for the win. 
Here we go. He catches this guy. Quick one pump. Storm is moving. He's going to take this guy. Put the ramp in his box to put some pressure. Takes the wall instantly. Replaces the ramp. This guy tried to break the ramp, and Peterbot said no. He put the ramp right back up, keeping him trapped. That was crazy. That was really good piece control. Okay, now people are flying, and he's going to pull out this mythic AR. We haven't even seen him use his assault rifle that much besides using it to break walls. Um, he honestly like has extremely good AR aim, so we'll probably see a little bit more of it in the moving circles. Catches this guy. This dude's dropping down. He's finally grappling across. He's going to go for this guy's box. He's just trying to walk into that guy's box. He doesn't even know how much health he has. I'm assuming that he's just, he's just assuming that everybody's weak because he has all the medallions. Well, not all of them, but most of them. And uh, everyone else is probably in shambles. And he's clearly not. He's going to take this guy's back wall. Going to get sprayed out. Good pre-fire right there on that spray. Finally going to pop one of his big pots just to get his shields back up. Doesn't even pop it all the way because no he knows the medallions will do the rest of the work for him. There's actually still a couple people with medallions that he could potentially kill. He's going to put a cone in that guy's box. That dude's running out. Still in the cone. He's going to leave him. Does he leave him? Oh! Oh my god, dude. That was, a, that was a hard miss for him. Usually he would hit that. He, he honestly played him. He edited the wall. That dude just jumped right into it. Oh, dude. Dude, he's not missing. He's getting pressured now. He's getting pressured. Doesn't want to get taken out with 32. 15 left. He's going to kill at least seven more people here. The storm is pulling uphill, bro. Some people are just going to die to storm, man. Look, these guys are swimming in the water right now. Double edit on this guy. Drops down into the water. Gets the free kill. He's going to go for the refresh. He is going to go for the refresh. He has a bunch of med kits. This is getting scary, bro. He just took 80 storm damage. But uses the grappler to get back into circle. He's going to start popping the med kit. This is the main thing. Is like he just can't, he can't lose white health. He's going to cancel that med kit. Pop his last med kit. Cancels it again. Only 40 HP. Honestly, that's the scariest part of this because a, a little bit more storm damage and he gets taken out and there's no siphon. The only way he can get his health back is to fully pop a medkit. And I guess that's he's going to stop to do that. And who knows? Maybe if he didn't have to stop to pop his medkit, he could have easily finished with over 40. I'm telling you, man, someone's going to... like he, he has the potential to drop more than 40. I want to see him do that this season. I think it's possible. The peace control, he's gonna, he's, he just, he went down. He's full boxing this guy. This guy has no options but to run back into storm and get taken out. He knows there's a guy on height. He's gonna let that guy sit on height. He's just gonna focus on the players underneath. He knows that they're probably weaker. Quick one pump on that guy. 36 eliminations, five players left. Runs into storm here for the med kit refresh. That's his like, that's his win condition. He de definitely needs the med kits because people will go for heal offs. If you guys don't know, with the new uh, change to heals, it's actually really easy to heal in the storm, even in a 10 tick, because you instantly start getting heals from the med kit. So there's some really crazy heal off tactics. Now he's looking for the guy in height. He catches him popping the med kit. Now he has four medallions. Oh my God. Okay, he drops down. Couple players right here. Quick one pump on that guy. He's dead, I think. Oh, he might have survived. No, there he, there he goes. He dies to Storm. He's in. He has 38 kills. Catches that guy. There's two of them in Storm. And unfortunately, he only gets a tag on one of them. The other guy ends up dying to Storm. Kind of screwing over the 40 bomb, which is really unfortunate. Like, he could have easily had more than 40. Honestly, Peter Bot, if you're watching, I want to see you drop more than 40 this season, bro. I feel like you could easily do it. I mean, not easily, but... This game, you probably could have finished with 42 or 43. Some kills just got stolen from you. And this was the most impressive Fortnite game I have ever seen. It's honestly crazy. Look, look, look. He nearly gets the tag on him. He nearly gets the tag on him, but he has to pop the med kit. And now he's like, do I, do I go for the win or do I try to just drop the 40 bomb? But he gets the win with 39. What an insane game. I linked his channel in the description. Go show him some love. Thank you guys so much for watching.